We see, of course, uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa, President of Republic of South Africa, the Head of State and Commander-in-Chief of their Defense Force, uh, making his way, of course, down the steps uh, to be received by the Namibian delegation. Our president, that is Dr. Nangolombumba at State House, and thereafter go to Casa Rosalia, the private residence of the late Gengob. He will be giving his condolences to the former First Lady Monica Kengos, the family, friends, and part of the delegation that has received the president is the minister in the presidency, Christine Kwebes. In previous media coverage, President Ramaphosa has described the late Kengop as a strong advocate for social and economic development in Namibia. The president, the president has also praised the late Kengop as a prominent figure in Namibia's liberation struggle. During their visits, they promised to strengthen partnership between the two countries and it was largely influenced by our late president, Dr. Hage Kenkop. He believes, uh, Dr. Kenkop, pardon me, believed in shared future prosperity plans with the neighboring South Africa. President Ramaphosa and our late president Dr. Hage Kenkop were not only counterparts but were also friends. And Dr. Um, uh, Parami President Ramaphosa has also described him as a brave man and he was iconic to the nation of Namibia. Back to you guys in studio. Thank you very much, uh, Richelin. Richelin also is there, just coming to us uh, from uh, the airport, the arrival of uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, the president of South Africa, uh, heading, of course, uh, as you can see the visuals there. He had just landed. He got into this official vehicle and, of course, is now off to uh, Casa Rosalia, who is uh, actually uh, less than 30 kilometers uh, from uh, the airport. Uh, the Jose Kutako International Airport. So he will be swiftly uh, first go to State House and then only after reporting himself at State House will head to uh, Casa Rosalia to go and pay his uh, condolences there as well. I mean, 